I am petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? Steve Arpin here. We are in Huntington Beach. Ran into this guy, Mr. Kane. <laughs> you have swim trunks on, and I saw you walk up with boxing gloves. Yep. What have we got ourselves into? Uh, well, we are here at the Huntington Beach Ultimate Training Center. We are here to do a little bit of training with uh, two of the top level UFC guys right now. Tyrone Woodley and Jorge Mazdaval. Concentrate to the sound of the beat drum. Start it up, take it back now. And Tyrone, uh, former champion, just lost one fight, but he's one of the pound for pound gnarliest dudes in the UFC. And uh, Jorge Mazdaval. Five just, seconds? Just Five knocked seconds. out a guy in record time. Holds the fastest knockout in UFC history. We're, we're gonna do a little bit of a sort of career swap thing to talk about how we train in different ways and uh, how that helps us for our careers. So obviously we're at a gym. This is uh, much more in their arena than uh, say being at a racetrack for us. So we're gonna hit some bags and some pads, work out with them and, and then we're gonna take them in our and our race cars. I hope you're ready. <laughs> I brought my helmet. You brought your helmet? I brought my I brought, helmet. I brought gloves, you brought a helmet. Great. And plenty of CBD MD freeze. <laughs> All so right. let's go check these guys out. Okay. Yo, hi. What's up, my man? Thank you, Tyrone. Pleasure. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you as well, my man. Much respects. What's up, yeah. man? What's up, man? Good to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice nice to meet you man. What are we doing here today? We're gonna get some um, training in, you know. We already know you do a little bit of training. You got your own name on your gloves. So we're gonna do some MMA, some kickboxing training. Are you gonna hurt us? I mean, I'm not. That's who, <laughs> this, this ain't, you I'm wanna not. ask him that. You guys just he's, quarterback. Cause he's been baptizing here. people lately. So today, they get to train with us. But I hear you guys are gonna take us in the car on a nice gentle ride. <laughs> who said anything about gentle? Remember, we gotta train you guys first. So if I foresee, I got the last me word. being launched. <laughs> I will can it. Clear to say you know a little bit more about this than I do. So why don't we go over to the bags and see what uh, see what these guys got and see yeah, the differences well, between the two. Well, of you. I think the main thing that we want to talk about today and hopefully learn from you guys too is is reaction because yeah. I mean everything for us is about subconscious reaction and that's your guys' whole life. Yep. <laughs> you know? I know you train a little bit already, so we're not gonna just do the one, two, yeah. one, two. We're gonna make you think about something else coming after you throw that, yeah. and just push you in a reactionary mindset. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do um, some straight punches. So keep yeah. it basic in the beginning. Yeah. But like I said before, we're gonna use reactions to do it. Yeah. So I'm gonna go jab, slip, one, two, slip. Okay. Two, one, slip. One, two, slip. Every time somebody in our sport throws a punch towards your face, yep. they gotta pay. Because yep. if they don't, they're gonna keep throwing punches towards your face, right? Yep. So it's just getting you in the habit of knowing that as you're throwing your strike, it's gonna be something coming back. And when you feel like you got it, you can speed it up. God, look at that speed. <laughs> he makes it look great too. Yes. <laughs> I can make it look great. Yes. Bop, bop. Breathe out, there you go. And remember, it's never a wrong punch. Yeah. So if you think you want to throw this one, and you forget to throw it, throw that one. Yeah. As soon as that come in. See your core, you gotta get that core tight. Right? Sneak it up on me like this already, right? <laughs> you never know, you never know what punch is gonna come from. This line right here is for this hand alone. So you don't want to start doing this so much. Yeah, yeah, speak to it. <laughs> There we go. Hey, hey, you need, hey, we might have to double team him. This is how you know somebody really with it. When he's sort of throwing a punch towards your face, you never close your eyes. As, no, as he's coming he's forth, you like this. And I yeah. think that's got to attribute a lot to the racing and not being For able to yeah. focus. Cause I can't believe, honestly, just how every single movement that you guys do, it's like so precise and so crisp. Right, so you Crazy. can, we're going to put that together, bring you into our world. Cause we know we're going into your world, but we can't <laughs> let y'all off that easy. So we're going to do a little shadow boxing. He's gonna shout about it. Nice and light, gentle, you know. We might touch you to the stomach here and there, but nothing to the face. <laughs> just got hit in the head like 10 times. 10 times! I would have been down if he was actually swinging. 
So that's your, your first time ever doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I actually wish I did that more because I just do a lot of pad work. But that's where you really get a lot of reaction and timing and a feel. But I want to see these two guys go at it though like that. So Steve, going from nothing to uh, gloves on, facing one of the gnarliest dudes in MMA in the UFC right now, how's it feel? Honestly, it's, I'm blown away. Just like, I've always had a lot of respect, but the level of respect is just skyrocketing. <laughs> I didn't know how much how much technique's actually into this. And what we do on a regular basis and everything, we're going 120, 150 mile an hour trying to slow everything cool. down. Oh, man. We, these guys are doing that same speed in every movement their body makes. It's crazy. Every one of these dudes wants to kill each other, so. <laughs> you, you have to be able to survive that. He doesn't that. want to kill you, me You have to survive hey. that. He shook it up a little bit. <laughs> he I haven't kill. pissed him off yet. <laughs> so, but I did bring my helmet just in case for later if we need to. What we did there was actually the warm up for what we we're going to do right about here. Pat, 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 pat. Bring my whole body. Try this out? Absolutely. Right, let's get it. Now remember, do not kick with your foot. If you kick with your foot and you break your big toe, your bunion, do not say Tyron Woody or George Mazza, but I'll show you that. We did. <laughs> we said straight shit. I didn't mean, break toe. Here we go. <laughs> You know what's funny? If you don't kick for a week, it's gonna feel like that the next week. But don't let that discourage you. You're actually give me this damn camera. Get over there. <laughs> it's your time. Turn your hips. You should see me dance. I am the straightest. I cannot dance. I call him from Fresh Prince. We're gonna tell him, open up your front leg like this. Look. Yeah. Spin a little bit more off that front leg like this. Let your hip come through. There we go. That's better. Think of Shakira, hips don't lie. Wow. Well, good thing you make a lot of money because you might have to replace this beam when you get done with it. <laughs> you taught him that, didn't you? Yeah, yes, you did. Better, I you, was yeah, you taught, you taught him shit right before you came in here. I know you did. You think we yeah. can hold one of those for you guys to really feel it? How hard are y'all gonna let us kick? I, I don't know. All right, well, let me give you instructions. <laughs> how, sure? how far do you want to launch it I'm, over the, the gap jump? I'm I know what well, that means. He's gonna kick 100%. <laughs> so whoever's holding his pad, whoever's holding his pad, I call Jorge. I call Jorge at Nitro. You and me. You want to hold it here? And if you want to be tough, you want to kind of bend your knee and lean into it, yeah. okay? Yeah. Boom, if he starts kicking too hard, you want to just let your leg go out. Yeah. If you feel like it's a little too much, let it go. No, 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 you hold when I kick, because you jumping me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let him hold, give me the camera. Let him hold for Miles Without. Cause you, Miles Without gonna kick 100%. Oh, you want oh, me to hold the bag? Yes. I didn't even ask for this one. one first. <laughs> I wasn't even what paying attention to what you were saying. I've seen a whole tray of bath bombs by CCMD. Point your knee towards it a little bit. So now, oh, there's that now you get chest. Boom, boom. Look at that thing, because he needs to get in right, here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. more power. You for me? Yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah, this is me. Hey, I didn't, hey, 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 I don't hey. get this opportunity. I didn't volunteer this. Yeah, yeah, Do a couple, do one or two just to get the rhythm first. I never lost one. For me, <laughs> for you. <laughs> See, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we gotta save you for the race. All right, all right. Yeah. It's like a giant baseball bat. You're heading towards your leg. <laughs> I'm just glad it's with pads. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, you guys. Really appreciate you showing us everything that you do and how you do it. And uh, I think it's time to actually go to the next segment where we take you guys for an experience in our cars. First things first, I got a couple of kicks earlier, and I need to start a little recovery thing here. So we got some CBDMD bath bombs. 
I think it's time for us to hit the hit the ice bath. I'm not sure what he means by this wee stuff. Come I on. got a flight to catch. But thank you guys. <laughs> hey, thank we you is guys. a new eye. We is a new thank eye. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Got it, got it. And we'll see you soon. I'm out. All right, boys, that was a hell of a day. Ken bailed on us already, but after taking a few of those kicks, I think it's time for the ice bath now. All right, so tell us about how you guys use the, the CBDMD bath bombs for recovery. Well, you know, one thing, we gotta be able to train our butt off, and one thing that's important is recovery. It's almost equally as important as actual training. So getting in an ice bath, I'm old school. I like, some people like cryo. I like to actually be in there. So having the CBD bath bombs, Throw that baby in there first while it's room temperature, then you can get adjusted to the water, then you drop the bag to ice in. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm good. <laughs> that, that transpired very quickly. See, I'm from Canada, so I'm used to this. This is actually kind of nice. Bags? How tough do I look in this bonnet? I can't I even think take you look good. <laughs> it is right now. This feels kind of good, but I think I've had enough. I, uh, I'm ready to get out. All right, let's... we'll see you boys at Nitro. I'm with it. See you there. You ready to jump some cars? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna Both stay in here a little bit longer, and um, I get back to you on that one. <laughs> All right, boys. Thanks for having me. All right, my man. I guess that's a wrap. We are here in Salt Lake City, Utah at Nitro World Games, and we've got these two with us again. So yeah. welcome to our world, boys. Yeah. It is the craziest rally cross track ever built, the biggest gap jump ever built, ever taken by a rally cross right, car. This is the biggest one ever, though, off the top Well, if we're going to do it, we're <laughs> going to do it right. Man. You get to ride with the guy that sent it no, further I'm... than anybody has ever sent it in the entire world. <laughs> Not really on purpose. Ever? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, Optimum speed was 75 and I hit 81, so I went about 50 feet too far. But not this is no big deal. Yeah. Not yeah. today. This is no big deal. Unfortunately, insurance is not letting us take you guys over the big jump. We can't do it with passengers. But we're going to hit all the other well, jumps. We're going to send it well, over the tabletop. we're not tabletop. supposed to anyway. <laughs> so, 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 so we riding with you guys. Yeah. I want to be mad. Well, that, that's one thing that's right about this compared to like other experiences like a skateboard or a dirt bike or even fighting. We can, we have a passenger seat we can put in and we can sure. actually ca take you for that ride. That's kind of These dope. cars do zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. And, and by the way, this, this is a Ford Fiesta. Like you would think Ford Fiesta, like, oh, it's a nice little yeah. cute economy car. No, 600 horsepower, all wheel drive, two liter turbocharged engine. How often does it need maintenance? Every day. <laughs> every day. Every, 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 every time we put it on the This is a contact sport yeah. by yeah. all means. He's into it. He's not. <laughs> hey, I'm going to do it though. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we get suited up? Should we get suited up and go out there and do this? So these are actually fire, fire resistant suits. Right. So in case something were to really go bad, you actually have a level of protection against the fire. What about the fire Super resistant ski mask? <laughs> so yeah, well, and gloves, they're, they're, and socks uh, and underwear. Wow, you're really, really fire expecting a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said, hey, you're really expecting a lot. <laughs> Ken, you got yep. any little... Uh, Rules here? Uh, Hold on, you listen to this too. <laughs> You're with me, so listen carefully. Well, the main thing is, obviously you're locked into a seat, so you'll have full six-point harness. If anything happens, if there was any sort of crash, anything, keep your arms in, right? You don't want arms flailing out, you want to keep your arms in. The car's got a very safe cage, everything is safe, but the main thing is if people start flailing around, their arms could get injured. Those are your money makers. Keep them in. Uh, so Wakanda the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to stay the whole time, but if anything like, happens, I'm the whole ride. <laughs> when they say forever, I'm taking it too hard. <laughs> no matter how like nervous or whatever you get, don't try and interact or do anything with anything that I'm doing. I know you want to touch all this, right? <laughs> but keep your hands to yourself. So, all right. Well, Boom. you guys are up first, so Jorge and I are gonna go find a good place to watch. All right, let's get you in. Let's do it. Oh, I just want to let y'all know about my um, hip flexor. <laughs> I can't believe my you're doing this. Um, okay, now I feel like I can't move. That, that's okay, right? That's the whole point of it. Yeah, Does anybody know the actual shit? Right, not that. Good. Right. Good.
Yeah, we out. Okay, you are good to go on the big jump. I repeat, green light, that's it. I saw that big jump, but I'm like, no, we can't do that one because they said we couldn't do that one. Karen came over my radio in the middle of the lap and said that the insurance got cleared so we could go over it. Literally? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was in tripping. I was like, hold on, hold on. No, yeah. no, no, no. They said no to that. But I, didn't I did not touch anything on the I did not grab them. I did not you soil, hear that? I did you not soil your, myself, and I did not have to go into Wakanda pose. You guys saw what it was like to go I'm one on one there? What do you think? Why don't we go side by side here? Go both of us at the same time. So no, I like already did my already did my part. <laughs> I already you gotta did my part. Go back. I gotta go again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. This. Let's do this. This is one of the most addictive well, drugs there are. I survived it. I didn't have my dude's record choice. We're going to purchase this. My leg's still tingling right now. I'll tell you what, but for Ken and I to have the opportunity to go to the gym with you guys and see what you guys do, you might like every single movement that your body makes is deliberate. Deliberate. The precision, the, the speed, the, the agility, everything you guys do, I just have an entirely new appreciation for. One of the things that frustrates me about racing sometimes when it's on camera, it doesn't show the speed. And that's one thing I realized about these guys. I've never seen them in person like this before. And when you watch it on TV, it doesn't do a, a, a genuine demonstration of how fast these guys are. So it was awesome. It's like watching the Matrix. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So loved having the opportunity to have you guys over here in our world. Well, it was a blast, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna never be the same again no after that. <laughs> <laughs> you flew, Woodley. I flew. Yeah, and yes. not only that, they got to go. Actually, most ride-alongs aren't door to door, so we at least did a couple laps wow. where you guys were jumping wow. over us. And and I, didn't even know. See yeah. I didn't know we were jumping over you guys until you guys jumped over us. <laughs> if, if, you knew, you guys were the if you knew, we were probably going to have bigger issues. All right, fellas. Well, hey, 
Pretty cool being a part of this CBDMD team. Awesome having you guys as teammates. Let's uh, let's do it again soon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate nice you, working man. with you guys. So uh, that's it. We're out. What do you got there, Steve? Well, I was on your bumper coming out of the hairpin, and you blasted me. <laughs> it's a little less packed today, more <laughs> gravel. So uh, yeah. Sorry, GoPro. <laughs> Thank God for spare parts. <laughs>